And how are you doing, Britbo? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are yeah, you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. So let's talk about, first things first, about you being the king of solo queue. At least in the beginning. I haven't really checked the standings today, but how did you approach that? How did you, how did you get that to happen? Uh, I made sure that I abused Shen. Um, <laughs> Shen I was winning every game with, and I was like, I'm okay. going to play 20 games with Shen to make sure my MMR stays good. Yeah. And then I'll play other champs. And uh, when I started playing other champs, I started to get stuck around 1,200 points. I'm still around there. Uh, and uh, Core JJ has overtaken me from the Western players. So uh, oh, credit where credit is due. He is higher than me right now on the ladder. And uh, Mickey X is creeping up as well. So uh, the support players are coming in with full force. But uh, other than that, uh, I'm still still very satisfied. I would like to hit top 10 before, the, uh, before World's End so that I can say that I hit top 10 on the Chinese server. I would love that. I believe. Okay, so let's talk about the oh, scrim I? results. How has it been since you guys got to Shanghai? 50-50. Okay. <laughs> so it's been um, it's been good, right? Like you win some, you lose some. When you win, you learn. When you lose, you learn. It's been 50-50 and the other. It's usually been back and forth games. We're learning what we need to learn. And the only times we really feel like it was like a, a very poor day of scrims is when our drafts and, and what we agreed on playing isn't panning out. So ultimately, pretty good. All right. Sounds great. And about today's match against TSM, what were your expectations walking in? I had none. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> okay. Sure. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk on stage. I'm gonna. I, I wasn't even sure what I was gonna play exactly. I was just. I'm just gonna play the game. I'm gonna try my best, and um, I'm gonna play my style. So I'll give you an example of that. Um, okay. Every Volibear played. Every Volibear that played Camille Volibear matchup played Grasp, which is. Uh, the easier way of winning your lane, but I was like, I don't want to win my lane. I want to kill this guy. <laughs> I want to kill this guy. Like, I, I'm, I'm going all in. So uh, I played uh, with every little bit of intent to kill him. Okay, that's fair. Seeing NA's performance so far, what are your thoughts on them? Be honest. Um, individually, I think they played pretty poorly uh, across both games. Okay. Um, I think that's. Obviously, it's too soon to say, right? I'm not saying they're right. bad players. I think just the performance was not what it needed to be. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that in the idea that we played like gods and had an incredible game. Far from, right? Like, I think both sides had a pretty rough game, especially in our game. But uh, I expected a little bit more um, mm -hmm. coming from their champion picks. Like, uh, I know Spico is very well known for his Nidalee, and uh, I didn't see it one bit. Maybe the early game in Vey that we did threw him off or whatever. But uh, thanks to that, I didn't really get to see him show up in this game at all, really. All right, that's fair. What about Hilly's recall, or not recall, and then recall again? Did he have anything to say about that after um, the fail? Um, when he was in the alcove? Yeah. In the alcove? Uh, I think it was just like, uh, we were calling, like, maybe we can TP, maybe we can do something. And, like, he's like, I'm hiding. If they go for the turret, I'm going to, like, we can TP right. on the trap, and, like, Rakan's behind them. It looks really good. And then, well, uh, apparently they had vision, or they were too smart, one or the other. So uh, props to uh, TSM for, for finding our sneaky route over there. All right. That's fair. And still talking about... about to have a little heli death like that, though. Yeah, okay. it was funny. It was funny. It was entertaining. A little bit. Well, I mean, it's just... Uh, I know Hilly's in his comfort zone when he's... Yeah. Um, he's willing to take risks like that, and he's willing to, like, dro drop a death for that. Like, I, I respect Hilly a lot for this. Like, it's world stage, right? And he, he actually goes to that play, and when he walks off the fountain, he's like, guys, I have flash ult. Let's go again. <laughs> I respect that a ton, you know? Like... Okay. You just die trying to make a play, and you, it doesn't even cross your mind that maybe you should, like, slow down. It's like, hell no. I have got, I've got my flash ult still. I really want to make this play, guys. It's, right. it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> That's awesome. Still talking about Healy. I got to talk to him when you guys were playing uh, playoffs at level. And yeah. I, I heard that you guys had sort of, like, a mental edge because you were not in the office anymore. You guys had moved to a facility. So how has it been to actually play on a stage? It's been amazing. I mean, I love the yeah. stage. The stage is, is my comfort zone. Uh, it, there's something special about playing on a stage, the lighting, seeing the enemy team across the... Uh, basically over your screen or to the yeah. left of you, depending on where you are, right? And, and it's just... Uh, it feels like there's more on the line. And even though there isn't, you know, again, like, for example, like spring and summer finals, there wasn't more on the line when we played from, from a stage or from home, but it feels that way. It feels like there's more on the line. It feels like every game you play just has that extra little bit of meaning behind it. Why do you and, uh, think that is? I've got no idea. I think that's just how my brain works. So okay. <laughs> I, a lot good. of things that I can't explain it well, I think, but um, ultimately it, it gives me a boost. It gives me a confidence boost. It gives me a, a wanting to do better. What makes me want to really show off how I play the game. Not even like how good I am or anything like that. It's just I want to prove to people like this. Like when you look at that Volibear, like that's my Volibear. You take the nameplate off, you can tell that's Bipo's Volibear right there. 
right. That's what makes me love this nation so much. <laughs> you guys got to, to see a little bit of Shanghai this week, right? Uh, not much, actually. I, I mean, you, you, we, we were allowed to, but uh, right. I was uh, up in the practice room until 4 to 5 a.m. every single night, making sure that uh, I uh, climbed the solo queue ladder. The climbing part hasn't been going well, but oh, at least right. it looks like my volleyball <laughs> practice has paid off a little bit. So you took taking time off from, from that quarantine period to, to still grind in the solo queue. I really respect that. All right, lastly... I mean, it's, it's just... Oh, go ahead. No, sure. please. I mean, it's... I mean, I was free. Uh, I was free at home for well, what, like, 21 years of my life, and I think that like 17 or 16 of them have been playing video games. So two weeks of quarantine doesn't phase me. Yeah, quarantine is <laughs> just your real life. Yeah, I know. This is, I think, what Pretty it much. is like for all of us gamers, basically. Okay. Lastly, what are the top top laners at Worlds right now? You can say yourself. Um. Well, there's no greed. There's three six nine. There's, I mean, I'm gonna name you all the all the easy ones because I don't want anyone to hate on me. Uh, and <laughs> I also don't want to leak any scrim results, right? I also don't want to leak any scrim results, you know? Like, okay. you know, if I'm like, oh, this guy, uh, I think he can't play against me in scrims, which there is one of the better top laners that I usually get the best of in scrims, so that gives me a lot of confidence going into worlds. Point being, um, I don't really care who's the best. Uh, I don't really care who's the worst either. My point is, is when I go on that stage and I look across over my monitor and I see anyone sitting there, I just need to be better than that guy. All right. Thank you so much, Pippo. I hope you guys have a great run. Thank you very much. All right, take care. Bye. Bye.